Hello everybody, welcome back to Dearester. Alright, the last episode we started over there by that lighthouse. We rambled along the beach and up the cliff and come down here to find this cave. We're going to take a look inside. We don't know what the hell's going on at the moment. Luminous cave paintings. We saw that in the cabin. Which way am I supposed to go? This way. Oh, I won't watch the cave, was it? It's a bit disappointing. Okay. Let's go up this pathway. Hello, birdie. Not even sure if it is a pathway. Should be some sort of seaside town around here somewhere, surely. Can't be that remote. Oh, there's a break in the fence there. Should we have gone into the. I've become convinced I'm not alone here. Even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion brought upon by circumstance. I do not, for instance, remember where I found the candle. Or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. What the hell is he talking about? We've not found a candle. Or a little strange pathway. Unless he's speaking metaphorically, of course. I can't do anything, I can't pick him up, I can't, I can only zoom in. I want to go up here. I'm not sure if it's going to let me. No. Okay. I think this is where we came from, isn't it? If it is, that'd be a bit disappointing. Come on. It's a bit dark. Oh, loading screen. How exciting! Oh, we've got a trophy. Donnelly. Dear Esther, 
I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rear view mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Okay. The plot thickens. We're not going back to the bloody seaside, are we? Ooh. What's that like? See what's around here. What's that like? Must be a boat. That building is a shipwreck. Hmm. That's a boy. Imagined answer phone message. The tires are flat, the wheel spins loosely, and the brake fluid has run like ink over this map, staining the landmarks and rendering the coastline mute, compromised. Where you saw galaxies, I saw only bruises cut into the cliff by my lack of sobriety. Okay. Find anything. Can we get on the boat? Probably not. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? What are you talking about? I'm not even sure if that's in English. I'm so annoying not about a jump or anything. Dead end. Can work out what that says and let me know, please. Because he's several words in it. Hmm, now where do we go? Back along the cliff or up this way? I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anaesthetic, 
your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Okay. What charnel house lies at the foot of this abyss? How many dead shepherds could fill this hole? Should we jump in it? Hmm. I don't think so. It's a house. It's our cottage. Another one here. I've begun to climb, away from the sea and towards the centre. It is a straight line to the summit, where the evening begins to coil around the aerial and squeeze the signals into early silence. The bothy squats against the mount to avoid the gaze of the aerial. I too will creep under the island like an animal and approach it from the northern shore. Ooh. It's very poetic. I do like his voice though. Very calming. Suits the aesthetic of the game. God, this is a steep old bloody climb, isn't it? was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. Okay, that was a happy story. All these bloody paintings. is landfill these false dawns waking into the still never light I sweat for you in the small hours and wrap my blankets into a mass I have always heard the waves break on these lost shores always the gulls forgotten I can lift this bottle to my ear and all there ever is for me is this Hebridean music mm. I've got a funny feeling that Esther's dead and it was his wife and his friend Paul killed him by accident, being drunk at the wheel of a car. That's my theory. I have no idea what the hell we're supposed to be doing, guys. video here and hopefully we'll continue on from where we left off I'm not sure if you can save it options no okay all right guys thank you all very much for watching hopefully next episode we shall start from where we left off until then it's Red Fox signing out